And we're back with, uh, what is this, uh, part 4 of my Wario Land 3, no, not Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land, run. I had just finished off Sherbert Land in the previous segment. Mount Teapot is, of course, also done. Uh, I said I was going to do Stove Canyon next, but uh, then I realized that um, I need to go back to uh, Rice Beach and uh, get some more stuff there. There's a treasure there that I don't have yet. As you can see uh, from uh, Mount Teapot, the uh, teapot lid being slammed down onto the teapot on the map screen uh, caused the beach here to flood, so these first couple of levels have some differences in them. Uh, the first one is now completely underwater, so I'll start there. And I need to fix the controls. You'd think I'd need... You'd think I would remember this, the number of segments I've done. But I have to always switch the type back to A. That way, when I push the B button on the on the SNES controller, it acts as A on the uh, Game Boy. And when I push Y, it acts as B on the Game Boy. That way I don't have to have my fingers in a really weird position to get this to work. Can I do this? No, you cannot crawl in water. Damn, so now I can't get those things. If I remember correctly, the first time I came in here, there was these nipper plants down here. No, now I'm thinking of a different place. I was able to come in here just fine the last time. However, I was not able to go... No, I'm, again, I'm thinking of a different place, I think. <laughs> That's cool. And I just come down on him in the, in the water. And that just instantly kills him. Now, this is the right place that I was thinking of. You can still get in, get in here if you have the uh, bowl hat. You can just slam down from above. Oh, fucker nugget. Yeah, <laughs> I just touch you under the water and that's enough to kill you. I like it. I could just swim right over these bastards. Before you had to do some kind of very uh, tricky... tricky-ish platform hopping right there, but not this time. Oh, coin, coin, coin. I want that good ending, damn it. <laughs> Getting every last coin I can. This is what I was thinking of before. See, now I can get into here. Whereas before, I would not have been able to because those nipper things would have killed me instantly. I think they would have. I think those are instant death. And uh, I'm a little disappointed. It's just a big ass heart. I mean, yeah, it'd g give me some lives, but. I was hoping there'd be a treasure in there. It's here somewhere, though. If it's not in this level, then it's in the next level. And I will get it. <laughs> get out of the way, bitch. Wait for the thing to turn off. This time it's not open for you. <laughs> They're like, we've shown you that demo once, uh, you should be able to figure it out now, and you should have to pay for it. <laughs> Still missing letter A, so that's what I'm looking for here in Rice Beach. Treasure number A. Okay, so at least I got some coins out of going to that level. Let's see if this one's different. It's not in the wave, so I don't think it's different. No, no, it would already be different. Can I, can I... No, you cannot start selecting this game, but I can just go back out the door. And this one has a secret exit that I know I couldn't get to the first time around. I 
There we go. Just had to, uh, had to uh, clear my throat there for a second. I turned off the mic. I figured you didn't want to hear my uh, phlegm blasting into your ears. See, that's a treasure door this time. I don't remember if that was here the first time around or not. And there is the key, yes. Alright, well I found treasure A. So there's nothing else it could be. <laughs> Surprised that worked. That's kinda cool. Nothing but net. And strangely enough, the dragon hat, yes, can open the treasure chest. Mon A. Yeah, sweet. So now there's no gaps anymore. And I think that means that since the treasure was in this level, the one I was missing was in this level, and this level is the only one with a secret exit on Rice Beach, then as soon as I uh, get that secret exit in here, I'm done with Rice Beach. For, for good this time. Uh, but I bet I get to go, have to go down there. Wait, no I don't. I know where the secret exit is. I'm just gonna go for it. In there is probably the halfway. Damn it, this place has crabs. Not anymore, it doesn't. And it still does. Goddamn crabs. Get that coin. You know, I do believe this is the exit room. Go away, jeez. <laughs> Little fucker's being resistant. Start up. Okay. <laughs> See, now... Before I couldn't get up there, but now I can just jump up there. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Threw the guy right into the uh, dragon stream. Oh, damn it. Come on. I wasn't holding up long enough when I hit the, the B. Run, 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 run. <laughs> See, now he's getting fast at it. I don't know what triggers him to go faster on that through that minigame screen, if it's the number of coins that you have, or the number of levels you've completed. It's gotta be something like that, because he runs faster and faster the further you get in the game. I remember this level, this is pretty easy. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Where are you going, fucker? Yeah, that's right. I'll use Game Boy memory to get you back. <laughs> Just get it off the screen and get it back on the screen, and it'll be back. Hey, hey, fart, 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 fart! <laughs> Damn you, fucker. He stun-locked me. This level's pretty much all bonus. It's kind of nice. There it is. <laughs> Figured there'd be one more. And that's it. That's the level. <laughs> and off we go. Done with Rice Beach. Now I'm gonna go back out and go to the Stove Canyon. Which is where I'm supposed to be going right now. That's the way to advance in the game. Oh shit! There's a flame wall following me! Go, go, go! <laughs> get that. <laughs> ah, shit, it's gonna make me backtrack. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit, there's a key! Mmm, fuck, 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 fuck. 
Oh, this is gonna be tight. I'm not even gonna go this lower way. In fact, I can't while I'm holding the key, because I can't body slam. I can't break those blocks. And good, the, the treasure thing is not down there. <laughs> I would've just figured that it would've been down there. Get out of the way, fucker. Flame wall coming through. Oh, get off the ladder. It's probably not as close as I think it is. can't slam, so I gotta do this. <laughs> and that special looking door is one that says you can't go back. And since there was a fucking wall of flame and lava flying at me, I don't think I want to go back there. Ah, the treasure. Let's go in and get it. It's Crystal Ball! Now I can uh, make people give me money to make up bullshit about their life that basically just predicts change. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this trick. Yeah! Jump off the ladder and then... fall down it. <laughs> and I'm done with Stove Canyon 1. <laughs> That's funny, exactly 2,000. <laughs> That'll never happen again. <laughs> and that was course 20, too. I got... I finished out with 2,000 coins on course 20. <laughs> That's really funny. Do these fall away? Nope, these do not fall away. Watch your coin, bitch. Oh, of course, those fall away. <laughs> the ones where I... Try to stop and get coins. I'm really being risky trying to get these coins here. It's uh, getting pretty close to falling in that lava. Butt bat! That's what I'm gonna call those guys. Butt bats. Butt bat! Yeah. Halfway. Okay, what the hell? Oh, I know how you get those. You gotta have the dragon hat and hit it from the side. Well, <laughs> hope, there are those, hope there's not a key in there. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was getting close. <laughs> I'll just pretend I did that on purpose. Oh shit, doing it again. Okay, it still worked. <laughs> Tried to throw him in, but he bounced off the platform first. I want to do something fun here. See if I can... Ah, damn it! Okay, I'll just have to do it in, the, in another level. <laughs> Skip is a minute games. 2045. You know, if that had been uh, 2048, that would have been a magical computer number. Would have been a power of two. And myself being a software developer, I really like magical computer numbers. Yeah, throw your thing and get over here so I can knock you, knock you out with, for, through your butt. Oh, okay, okay, fine, go the other way. Let's do that, fucker. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do in the previous level. <laughs> Just push him in. <laughs> I love that so much. That's way more fun than should be allowed. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> what the? 
Oh, those are not background. Okay, those are actual blocks. <laughs> Went to jump over there and got stuck. I was like, what the hell is this? What's going on here? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> if you dash across those things, they don't, uh... They don't fall. I'll keep that in mind for future reference. <laughs> this game is so much fun. <laughs> I love those times the best. Whenever they go flying and they don't bounce off anything, they just go straight into that lava. Mm, yep, that proves it. I dashed across them the first time and they didn't they didn't fall. But I walked across them the second time and they did fall. If I remember correctly, there is a rocket hat in here. <laughs> no, just a friggin' heart. I seem to remember going through this part of the game with the rocket hat a lot. I thought maybe that meant that there was gonna be a block around here that has one in it. Yes. This is gonna be tight. I'm gonna have to... Come on, go now. Go off the side and then dash. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's weird. I'll take it, though. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Gotta get low enough to go under the thing, but not so low that you fall off of it. Oh, fuck you! Man, this game loves taking my rocket hats. wonder if I could've carried that guy through the hole. Or through the door. Because obviously you can do that with keys, so I wonder if that applies to everything that you can carry. Give me a big. Yeah. Give me 35. Fantastic. This one's got two exits, so of course I'm going to get them both. Now this is one of these. <laughs> I get to ride this little cart. Put the butt bats in the way. D damn it. <laughs> Fucking butt bats. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, f oh, oh, that was luck. If that butt bat had not bounced me exactly the way he did, I would have fallen in the lava. I love how unceremoniously the cart just blows up when it hits the lava. It's like, ugh, lava, I'm done. <laughs> this thing, I believe, kicks me up in the air. Bong! Yep. So screw the ladder. <laughs> just use the bong to get up here. Maybe later I'll hit it. Oh! Get on the next one. Skills. Whoa, that was kind of close. But that. One of these things, I believe it's the very last cart before you go through a door. You actually want to ride it down towards the lava because there's something down there. And I missed it. <laughs> Fudge Packers. You know what would really help right there is a, a jet hat. I predict I'm going to die several more times in the attempt. lives, okay? So either the game is sa saving my number of lives, or I've gained like 14 lives just in this play session. I don't think I've been doing that well, so I think it's saving my lives. I like this. This, this game saves uh, things that not all games save. Saves your lives, it saves your hat. Pretty impressive for a Game Boy game, I think. 
because they... Oh, damn it! If I'd started that dash a little sooner... <laughs> but as I was saying, you know, on Game Boy games, they don't have a lot of memory to work with. I wouldn't be surprised if the amount of save RAM in this game was only like one kilobyte, if even that. Gotta be careful, I don't know what happens if you get too far ahead of it, if it just disappears or what. my eye out for the last one. Oh, that was close! Sweet! <laughs> Man, I was perfectly aligned with that platform when I came out, or when I ended that dash. Hell yes, saving that. <laughs> And that's the secret exit. <laughs> and there's a treasure thing. Now I gotta find a key. I'll leave that just in case I need it. Because I remember this level I'm gonna be doing some uh some backtracking around here. I remember correctly, this way just takes you straight to the exit. It does. I don't even have enough coins yet to open it. <laughs> so I definitely do not want to exit without the treasure. So I'm gonna go up here. What's in here? And something I can't do. Because I cannot jump up into there. I don't think. Not from... No. Okay. If I remember correctly, there's a switch somewhere that changes this room so that I can actually get through it. Getting through it would be useful, wouldn't it? Maybe it's something in here. No, same thing in here. Need to fill this up with water. What the fuck?! I intentionally jumped up so that I would hit a spear, but I thought I did it at the right angle so that it would stun him instead of kill me. Guess I was wrong. Can't do anything there yet, either. The switch is at the very end. Revenge. <laughs> Even though that guy didn't do it, he's how I'm gonna get my revenge. Okay, so... This switch probably changes something in every one of these rooms. Not going to touch those bombs. There's no point. There's the key. Of course it's in the very last room, that, because that means I have to carry it all the way back. I guess technically I don't need to go into these other rooms, I could just go straight to the treasure room, but I want to see what's in here. Mm -hmm. Eat key, bitch. Oh, I see what's gonna happen here. Because now I switched that switch back, and now it switched all those rooms back to the way they were originally. I have to do that to get out of here. Which means now, in order to... Uh, in order to do the second room, I have to go down and hit the switch again. I guess it's not so bad. At least they didn't put that switch deep inside of a door or something. You just have to walk a little bit. See, now this is full of water. So now I can actually get up to this ladder. And you see it's doing it again. Now there's no way to get out of here without filling this thing up. Okay. Cannot use the key in place of a dash. <laughs> oh shit. That's kind of risky. Those are some rather risky, uh, 12 coins there. 
<laughs> I hit that one on purpose just because I wanted to hear the sound. You'll notice that, um, I know I said it in one of the previous segments, but uh, several of the sound effects from this game are recycled from Metroid 2. The uh, sound that, Mar that Wario makes whenever he bumps into something, that farting sound, is the same as the sound that Samus makes in Metroid 2 when you activate the spider ball. So that makes me wonder if um, somebody from the Metroid 2 team, maybe the whole team, worked on this game. Could have just been the sound guy. Could have been the whole team, I don't actually know. Bonk! <laughs> but I can't get it. <laughs> can't jump high enough. Gotta fill the room back up. Oh, there better be big-ass coin in here. Hell yes! Oh, get it! Damn! <laughs> Ooh, nice. I'll take that. I'm surprised that that doesn't fall away. That would be a really cheap thing. I didn't hit the switch. <laughs> Got distracted with my riches. See, now I can actually duck and get under here. But I can't go back. Very clever, the level design here. And kind of annoying. <laughs> If I really wanted to risk it, what I could probably do right here is throw the key ahead of me and then jet across and catch the key on my way, and I believe I would land right next to the exit. But I'm not going to risk all that. <laughs> Especially when it only saves me like 10 seconds. If this were a speed run, then I might do that. But this is not a speed run, this is just me having fun playing the game. I got a... Uh, what is that, a grail? The Holy Grail, perhaps? I don't know, I'm not seeing any black knights with their arms cut off, so I don't think that's the Holy Grail. Now that I got the treasure, I can go. That was kind of risky, <laughs> stopping the jet, going across those things. wanted to see what would happen if I just stood there in the way. The game decided to kill him. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That's what the little bonk means. <laughs> That's your reward for getting all the way through that level. You get a bonk on the map. <laughs> Gotta maneuver through the butt bats. Well, that's bitch. Can't get that coin. Get that. <laughs> I was hoping that I, that, that I could jump high enough to get up over that garlic, and it turns out I can. I predict that I'm going to die at least once before I get through this level, so I'm going to pay for the insurance. <laughs> Especially since I'm pretty sure you get all the coins that you need in the room with the, level, the, uh, the halfway. So why not? Did I get too far ahead of it? I did. Okay. Well, that answers that question. Get too far ahead of it and it forgets. Poor little Game Boy. It doesn't have memory for everything. Oh shit 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 shit! Ah. Oh. I waited just barely too long to to blast off of that uh, that cart thing, so it took me down with it. Okay, so there's only nine coins in there. It's not. It's one coin short of being able to pay for it. Just 
you love how they they're pairing those jumps up like the the cart is falling out from under you into a lava pit and then they send a butt bat down in your face do not need to risk that anymore <laughs> That's one reason it pays to do the hard way first, because you do that, and from there on, it's clear sailing. Twenty-two, seven, two. And I'm at the boss level. This one actually does have a skull. For some reason, the one in Sherbet Land doesn't. Maybe because in Sherbet Land you don't actually need to beat the boss in order to exit the level. Because you saw in the segment, I was not able to beat the boss, and so I just walked out the door. Ugh! Get in that pit! I love flattening those guys with my ass. Wario's ample posterior. It comes in handy. Oh shit! Blew that jump. I tried to do one of those jumps that I've been doing for the entire game successfully so far. Where you hold up and uh, left or right, and that makes you jump higher and further and faster. And right there, it just decided it wasn't going to work. Which, by the way, in order to do that jump, you do not need, need to have a special hat. You can do that jump in any form. I see, and I was going to start getting more risky. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, God. This game's going to make me have a heart attack, I swear. Yeah, everything just falls away. Get in there. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I did that on purpose. When I really just wanted to uh, get him out of the way. Oh, you gotta ride this one down. Yeah, game. <laughs> Start pushing it. That's how you know you're at the end of the level. Now watch this big fat fucking head. His favorite thing is to blow snot balls out of his nose. And no, I'm not making that up. <laughs> That's exactly what he just did. Come on, do it. Oh, fuck. Missed it. Yeah, and he also takes out the blocks underneath you with his... his, uh, tongue. One hit to the block... uh, damages it, and then the next one will actually destroy it. So, while you're trying to hit him with his snot balls, he's taking the floor out from under you. Oh, piss! How could I botch throwing that thing? And then immediately get st hit in the face by a snot ball. Because you can't just catch them, at least not when they first come flying out of his nose, they have to bounce first. Because uh, bouncing is the difference between a deadly booger and a not deadly booger. <laughs> Ooh, that was kind of close. Oh, fuck you. Surprised the knockback from that fireball didn't knock me back into the pit. <laughs> Shit. I was avoiding these fireballs much easier the first time. Push. <laughs> And push. <laughs> well, bounce. What are you gonna do first? Yeah, okay, so he's random. Come on, blow thing. Never thought I'd say this, but blow me a snot ball. <laughs> Come on, quit doing the tongue.
Come on, blow another snowball. Yeah! Come on, one more. <laughs> Why did I do that? I know that they're deadly to catch them, and I wouldn't have tried to do it anyway. It's okay, I got plenty of lives. Still kicking. Was it just me, or was there no power-ups between the halfway and the end of the, end of the level? Whoops. There, the, the, the extended jump didn't work again. I should probably stop relying on that jump, since it doesn't always work. But if you don't use it, then the, the jumps on these platforms suddenly get a lot tighter. See, I won't do it for this one. Okay, so it's not that tight, but it is slower. So it's still kind of risky. It's just easier to do the extended jump. Come on, fireball. Is there not one here? There's not one here. There's one here, though. <laughs> Nearly caught that one in the face. Oh, fuck you, game! Ah. I tried to dash and hit that guy, but turns out he was just barely far enough to, to fall over the edge. So instead of dashing into him and stopping, which is what I planned to do, I just dashed right off the side. The game really isn't it just isn't really this hard. I just keep making stupid shit mistakes. That was kinda close. <laughs> Fireball just about burned my hat off. Yeah, that'd be funny if there was like a next generation Wario game where it was sorta of like this, only Wario suffered environmental damage, so, like, if you do get too close to those fireballs, then it actually does melt his hat. And then, like, maybe that damages you, or maybe it, like, makes it so that you can't switch hats or something like that. That could be interesting, and it, that could be an interesting gameplay mechanic. You're gonna bite it this time, fucker. Stop giving me the tongue and give me a booger. One more. I'm pretty sure this guy only takes three hits. Come on, one more without destroying a platform. Oh, fuck! It went over him! And then that one went under him! And he's gonna take that out. Fuck you. And then I blew the fucking thing again. Yes, die. Damn. Yeah, that's what I was afraid was going to happen. With that hole in the ground there, some of the coins are flying right in the damn hole. Oh well, I still came out, with, came out of it with 162. That's nothing to sneeze at. It actually feels kind of good when it takes the coins a long time to add up. Because that means that you got a lot richer. And that's Stove Canyon done. Next world is SS Teacup. Uh, that's going to end it for this particular segment. Uh, until next time.